I'm the senior training crewman on 18 Squadron. Anything at home or abroad is, uh, is our bread and butter. The Chinook is the mainstay of, of the, uh, the ground support of the troops, basically. The time was 14.04. I looked round the window and saw my sandwich, and I had a crescent-shaped bite out of it. I remember seeing that distinctly. Uh, and we couldn't see Sam. You know, he wasn't responding. I was with Dawn, and Dawn's just been left, you know, uh, she's just given birth and she's been left, not covered or anything. And Sam was on the resuscitator, and it was surrounded by people in, in, you know, in uniform, and you couldn't see Sam, couldn't even cry. And I remember Dawn just saying, why isn't he crying? Why, isn't he, why can't I hear Sam? The incident at birth uh, basically gave him a, uh, an oxygen starvation injury, which uh, led to brain damage. Uh, he has got athetoid cerebral palsy and he's quadriplegic. When Sam was born, we were fine in, in uh, the Maricor to be ring because it was big enough. But obviously, we started to get more and more equipment and outgrowing it very quickly. Um, they couldn't provide a Maricor in our area that was big enough and suitable for wheelchair use and specialised equipment. Um, and didn't know what we were going to do until the warrant officer PSF said, if you try the benevolent fund. And I hadn't heard of that. I thought it was for veterans and, uh, you know, widows, etc. We uh, made contact with them and said, yeah, we can help you um, really quickly. But you, you struggle with it, you know, I don't need charity. Why would I need charity? There's people out there need charity. You know, there's war veterans all over the place who have got far more pressing problems than we've got. But actually, um, you look back on yourself and you go, yeah, yeah I can't afford to do that. Without the help of the Benevolent Fund, we'd have had to move away from the healthcare trust that we were in and schools and our, our support network. Uh, so because of the house we live in, the relationship we have with the Benevolent Fund, we can actually adapt that as required for Sam. And obviously he's changing needs. The bigger he gets, the more kit he needs, the bigger his equipment is. It's a peace of mind and that's the biggest thing for us. The fact that we knew we would be stable in that house for as long as we needed to be, um, which just takes an extra pressure off when there's already enough going on.